I know you know what today is. And if you're new to the channel, then hi, I'm Reese. And today I am doing my recap of 2022. February 3rd, 2023. If you're new to the channel, then you might be wondering, wait, why are you doing the recap in February? Well, I mean, we're a month into the new year. Well, the reason is that two years ago today, I actually ended up posting my first recap for the year 2020 when I started this YouTube channel. Plus, I've always considered the first week of February to kind of be the official start of the year instead of January 1st. Finals week for me is the very last week of January, and then followed by that is the start of second semester, which was that, which was this past week. And then after that is my birthday. Now, 2022 was my first school year back in person after the entire craziness with the world kind of shutting down in March of 2020. And to be honest, I loved my 10th grade year. I was always an eighth plus student because I felt terrible anytime I got anything lower than it. And my favorite class was AP Euro with Miss Osborne. The class was filled with so many stories I just felt so captivated by. And they just kept dancing for my head the rest of the day. I loved the class so much. Now my least favorite class was Spanish because I just could never pay attention. No matter what I understood how to read and I knew what every word was. I just, anytime there was a time right, I couldn't quickly get any words. So then I would get a very, very low score. And I was always annoyed by the fact that I was so close to an A minus the entire time with me being an A plus student, which truly haunted me and terrified me. Now, at least based on the first semester, I don't truly think I have any classes that I dislike. There's nothing I'm dreading, hoping that's the last day. Now, during my 10th grade school year, I got to interact with so many more people and meet so many amazing personalities and just interact with so much. And I have truly grown to adore so many of these people. Plus, I got the return of so many faces who I just wanted to see again. There were new stories, and at least for me, a new appreciation for coming to school every day, even if I don't want to wake up. I got to experience spirit weeks, going to my first school dance, and the terrible dread of finals week, and feeling like all you want to do is sleep. I took a class called walking, which is where you just go every day and you just walk around in circles and listen to music. And for that, I ended up just getting a whole new sense of appreciation for so many different artists who I've already loved and of new artists who I just kind of discovered or I wanted to discover. Now, April was actually a very big month for me as it started with me seeing Olivia Rodrigo at WAMU on April 6th. Sour was an album that I instantly fell in love with, and the second that Driver's License came out, me and my mom were already planning on seeing her in tour. It was just kind of this album and world that we just wanted to experience and live and see in person. We ended up having the second night of the tour. We had so much fun, and it was definitely worth the wait in the line of girls in purple pastel. Now the last week of April was actually quite eventful for me as we all went to Nashville for a friend's retirement party. Nashville has always been a place of wonder for me, especially since as I've gotten older, I've gotten to truly appreciate um, more country music. And also as a songwriter, it's just kind of been that place where I was like, ooh, it seems so cool. I just want to be there. Um, and so as I've gotten older, I started to listen to more artists like Kelsey Ballerini and Dolly Parton and so many others who kind of fall in that line. And the first day of the city, I actually got to record four songs that I wrote in a real life music studio. And it was a dream come true. Um, it was everything I hoped 
for in that type of situation and I'm truly so grateful for the fact that I got to experience it and I got to live through it and you know how when you like imagine things and for the most part after it happens you think that it was nothing like it or it was a total letdown that was the complete opposite of this it was everything I wanted every little detail was perfect and at first when I heard the songs I didn't quite love them but as I've gone to listen to them more and appreciate them more I truly decided that they're amazing and I'm so happy and I love them so much and I will not be posting them anytime soon because they are kind of for me at the moment but I just wanted to say all of that um I still can't believe it <laughs> um I got to record four songs that I wrote in a studio in Nashville I mean can you believe it Oh my God. Oh. We ended a recording session by going to the Country Music Hall of Fame, where I took a photo with every single Taylor Swift memento there was. Um, starting with going to her education center and seeing some different outfits from the lover era, from the lover era, um, to also seeing her gold dress that she wore for the opening of the Speak Now tour, which is my favorite tour. Um, in addition, I love seeing all the handwritten lyrics to so many iconic country songs and geeking out over all the super cool, um, guitars that were there. I'm like, oh my wow, I just wanted every single one of them so much. We actually ended up having some flight troubles and the fact that our flight back to Seattle actually got canceled. So we ended up actually going to Arizona to see my grandparents for a day, which was so much fun. My grandma is actually a very proud supporter of the channel and she watches every single videos and messages me after she saw every single video. In May, I actually had my first paid gig as I was hired by my singing teacher to perform for his son's first birthday party. Um, his son is a very big fan of my, of my music and he's just kind of really enjoyed it for any time that I come for lessons. So it was an honor for me to go and help him out and be there for him. Um, I also got to meet his entire family and see that entire world that he's a part of, which was so much fun and so loved. The following month was crazy as I spent the first three weeks focused on working on my final project for AP Euro. And it is probably the biggest project I have ever done and we were told that we could put as much energy as we wanted into this project. So, me being me, decided I would go all out and put my entire heart and soul into it. I wrote 13 songs in two weeks and then I added one other song that I wrote like sometime prior to make it a 14 album concert experience thingamabob called Tales from Across the Pond, which you guys can see on the YouTube channel right now. Um, I will put a link to the playlist. I truly wanted to honor my favorite tales and stories that we learned in my history class. My favorite song from the concert is track 10, which is called Our Secret Weapon. I ended up skipping the last day of school, which was on Friday, so that way I could fly to Vegas for my grandparents' 50th wedding anniversary. Then on Sunday, my dad and I flew to Denver so that way I could go to camp for a full month. One month in Colorado at camp, my favorite place in the whole world. Now, I tend to do only two weeks at camp, but this year it was my last camper summer, so I decided that I had to spend more time there. Now, I already have plans for a longer video actually describing the summer and different thoughts and stories. So I will not be going too deep into it right now as it will be told in a later date. But I do wanna point out that I had probably the best summer ever and I loved it so much. Um, every counselor that I had was amazing and I just, I loved it so much. <laughs> I truly did. Um, I ended up being able to perform two songs that I wrote at Council Fire, both songs I wrote the week of the performance, one song I actually finished the day 
of my performance. I ended up posting the second performance, but I actually didn't get the first performance on video, which honestly I believe is a good thing. And <laughs> um, you can go watch that now. Or, you know, after this video is done because, you know, we're, we're not that far until the end. Like, you can wait a few extra moments. Two weeks after coming home from camp, I ended up flying to New York since it has been a while since we all went to New York. Um, we saw a number of Broadway shows that were all amazing, and I spent my free time shopping at fancy boutiques. The coolest part though was that I got to hold a real life Grammy in the Atlantic Records office. I mean, it was so cool. Um, my summer actually ended with me going back to Colorado to celebrate the 100th anniversary of Geneva Glen. The perfect way to conclude my camper summer. In September, I started my junior year of high school, and I can honestly say that it's been a lot of fun so far. Um, I am officially one semester done as of last week, and I joined the drama club in December. And I am excited to announce that I will be a part of the ensemble for the spring production of Mean Girls. So every year I do an official ranking of all the albums excluding debuts, so here it is. First I have Speak Now, Red Taylor's version, Folklore, Midnight's Reputation, 1989, Evermore, Lover, and Fearless Taylor's version. This past year I had a very hard time feeling motivated to write any new songs. My days were so long with actually being back in person and by the end, I just wanted to relax in bed watching YouTube videos, which was nice. I found a new channel that I really enjoy, and I really love that world that I have. And I ended up writing 28 songs in total. However, most of the songs were written in the last few months of the year. Some of my favorite songs that I wrote this year are, in no particular order, I'm Doing Well, which is my second favorite song off of Tales from Across the Pond, as it just sounds like a perfect breakup song to me. Um, they are just constantly saying, yeah, I'm fine, I'm doing well, I'm still me. <laughs> um, and I like that it doesn't scream too much of being from an AP Euro history class, um, which is definitely the case for some of the songs that I wrote. I have a song that I wrote this year called You Never Know, which tells the story of one of my favorite people that I met at camp this summer. Fun fact, I accidentally wrote the song. Um, I was trying to fix the, I was trying to fix a part of a song that I wrote a couple days prior, and then it ended up just being a completely new song that I just, I love it so much. I wrote another song called The Credits This Year, which deals with the conflict of deciding whether or not to move on from liking someone who you've liked for a while. Um, I wrote this really fun, catchy song called Obsessed, and I'm truly obsessed with the chorus. I mean, it is so much fun, and it has so many incredible lyrics, and it's just pretty much metaphor upon metaphor upon metaphor, and I love it. Um, I wrote probably the saddest song I've ever written called MK, and then I ended this year with writing a song called Photo of You. Recently, we celebrated the second year anniversary of the channel! Woohoo! And I'm so excited for year three to officially begin. As of me writing this, I have 39 subscribers, and the video with the most views that I posted this year goes to Our Secret Weapon. Woohoo! Um, it has 132 views. So, in conclusion, this was a very happy and relatively normal year for me, luckily. I just wanted to say thank you. I'm so sorry for not posting as much, but as you can hear, I kind of had a lot going for me and I didn't really feel incredibly motivated to do outside stuff than school. And now with me being in the music hall and with me kind of being a full year 
in person, I've really gotten back on my feet in terms of being creatively motivated. Um, so I just wanted to say, I really believe I'm actually truly coming back to a normal, real schedule. Of course, now that I say it, I probably just jinxed it, but you know, why not be optimistic? Um, so I hope you guys all had a wonderful year as well. I know that I did. And like always, I hope you guys stay your extraordinary self. I will see you guys whenever I post again. <laughs>